So let's talk about another life lesson. What do you do if you realize that your account is in the negative and you have no idea why? So the first thing you want to do is you want to check your ledger or how you keep up with what you spend. And if you can't do that, that's your first problem. Because in banking, they will allow you to spend on an available balance. Now, if you get gas at a pump, that's called a pre-authorization. That pump does not know if you drive a Toyota Corolla or a Yukon or a Dodge Ram Dually Extended Cab. Has no idea. So they're going to pre-authorize your card for a certain amount of money. So let's say you're at the pump, you have a huge truck, it pre-authorizes your card for $75, but it costs you $95 to get gas, okay? And you only had $100 in your checking account, right? So if you do the math, 95 minus 100 is $5. So after you do that transaction, you should only have $5 left in your account. Well, a lot of times, the pre-authorization will hold on and it'll show a dollar or it'll show $75. And then before the end of the day or the rollover of the banking day, depending on when the machines are ran and I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, we'll fall off and the actual transaction will show up. But let's say that it only pre-authorized your card for $75. 75 minus 100 is 25. But in reality, you only have five. So you decide to go to Starbucks after that. You don't have any idea how much money you had because you're not keeping up with it. So you go and you get you a whatever latte and it's 10 bucks. So in reality, if you do the actual math equation, you started off with 100, you spent 90, and then you spent 10. So that puts you in the negative $5. Right, so that negative five dollars, the bank is going to charge you what is called an overdraft fee or an insufficient funds fee. It is so important that you keep up with your expenditures or what you're spending, be it written, virtual, or otherwise, and that you keep account of an accurate account of your money. Because if you go to file what's called a dispute because you don't recognize that your account is negative and maybe you have some bank fees in regards to that, the bank, most of the time the transactions come out immediately. But sometimes the transactions won't appear for hours or for a day. That's rare, but it happens, okay? So when you go to the bank and you're like, I, there's money missing from my account. Well, that bank doesn't know what you spent and what you didn't spend. That teller or that banker, they don't know. They don't know. They're, ask, they're gonna ask you, what of these transactions did you authorize? And if you didn't keep up with what you spent, you're not gonna know. So there's a banking life tip for you guys. Be blessed.